maybe starting it here instead, the YD I mean. Because I used too much time doing this, and the other places is just a little bit biomes. I don't think I've been here before, so... If so, I have to say... Yeah, I haven't been here because... Oh, look at this. Welcome to this video, by the way, if I'm starting it here. 5, 10, 15... Okay, something like that. Uh, Minecraft, you think to do it or not? Because I don't want to touch that. Yeah, th this is so bedrock. There! I didn't do that. You have to believe me. Let's waiting for that. How long time Minecraft? That means I haven't run into this little area here before. So maybe we do have one nineteen updated place here. I am so happy that uh, this is summer. I know that the man of my night bars are on vacation. So that's why I can talk in the night. Or else I wouldn't do a video where I'm talking. So the Minecraft, it's just like, nah. Don't want to do that for you. So I'm leaving this place now. Very nice. Because there I go too far. You see that tiny stupid stripe there? Oh, health trees. I love to think that, oh, it's some kind of curse. I need to go back to that stripe. I want everything locked in. Or else it would be so sad if I had to try to find this place again. Is it another night? Another night? Another day? Another day? Another night? At least here it's sugarcane, so I'm unsure if this is 118 biome. Maybe 119 have fixed that. I don't know. Because 118, it was very hard trying to find any uh, sugarcanes, which is so weird. So this is 118 for sure, because health trees. That normally means that, uh, yeah new kind of biomes have uh, come in and I noticed that uh, when it comes to 180 uh, the biomes looks very weird like this uh, very grass changing very quickly and then it is red green color on it I have seen all 19 biomes don't have that kind of color so I can tell you that I have been here before maybe not just touch this place a bit this is so 118. I still need to go there. <coughs> Very soon I can turn myself around. This is why it takes a long time. This is only take a tiny stripe. This is the map 4. And I didn't know about it. So I think I need to say it again. Because I don't... Yeah, I need to say it again or else this video will be very long. Uh, all thanks and credit to Softis FFS because he told me about the Zoom and the maps. I never know about it. I even never think about that. Yeah, when creating a map it is called something like one of four, you know, the normal maps. And I didn't know that if you lay, if you're using a crafting table and you putting a map in the middle, taking paper around it, uh, you're creating a map that zooms out. You can see how that is helpful. So now we're going back again. So now it is daytime. You understand what I mean with a weird green color of the 118 biomes? So, is it about there? No, I don't think so. So no hope for 119 update here. But I am running in uh, Mountain City and the places all around it because the other map didn't work with this. I mean, at least here I can see exactly where I am. That helps me to actually walk in this map. I want to do it with my fort too, but I think uh, I need to separate these two kind of maps and don't have another outzoomed map in your inventory at the same time. I can show you what I mean with that. You, do you understand what I mean? You can't see where you are. And I tried to go back and it still it didn't show me where I was. Very weird. I can do this, that's alright. So let's run in for some time. <coughs> very funny, because uh, now you see the biomes and that is very helpful. 
that little sand place out there it's actually the place where I'm getting all my sand from my forever lost the bacon was there and I forgot that I was mining crazily after the day right and yes yeah, soon I want to work on my fort I really feel for uh, stretching it out because a 118 update have been here and now we got the 119 it is real time to stretch it out and I have choose to on have it on with one floor the first floor I found a sh stretch out place where I like because uh, I'm finally hitting a um, outpost and if you didn't know this uh, if I uh, try in over it is on because of an outpost if it's no outpost near I used to throw those seeds that I tested out in creative worlds before I'm doing a survival world of it uh, so yeah do you need at least one outpost to try because I love illegal stuff so I'm doing like that if I didn't care so much uh, for raids and so I uh, I will just have any seeds in the world, but I am not like that. I know with myself that I will not thrive if I started a new seed and it didn't have an outpost in it. So the 118 if that have messed up with the man of my places also in my new world, that means it removed the places that used to be there. I was close to it, because I am finding stuff in survival too. But uh, for sure not close enough, so it replaced with 118 update and then 119. So I have no hope to find my outpost out there. And the same thing for this world, because I have already been there. I tried to find it, because I was there. It was the first place where I was planning to stretch it out. I shoved it before in a stream or something. And then the 118 erased that outpost that was out there. But it lived the witch uh, hut or whatever it is called. But uh, that is uh, not the thing that drives me to yeah, stretch up my fort there. So you can see this is a swamp biome. And yeah, you get the frogs uh, into old places. If I knew that, I wouldn't like yes, try to say earlier not selling them for that much uh, emeralds but it's too late everybody in this world except one to have the frogs and the rest should not be hard to get it is wandering around anyway free and so so yeah let's try to run in this map Rooney. that will make it fun i hope a different video where we actually do a uh, adventure and this is places that I haven't been on but if I have touched the place close enough luckily there have been it is all the biomes you can see that I tried to scream say hey cave oh right there but I'm not interested so around here or no mostly the all the way it is places I haven't been on so that's really an adventure where I'm wondering what do we have here luckily I did not at all know that uh, the place I have in my butcher trading hall behind that mountain with uh, lots of uh, birch uh, trees maybe saying it wrong I don't know how to say it right it is a swamp biome I really didn't know about it it's a small biome but still 118 biome the color is weird here so this is 118 biome that kind of helps me to tell me that uh, hey you don't find any 119 stuff here so you don't need to try now we are on this place where i need to you see the half trees that means the 118 biomes have kicked in it's making everything in half and if it's water or trees the trees are underwater with uh, seagrass and all it looks so incredible weird it really sense that we can't play old worlds it's really sad that we can't do that on bedrock if i understand it right you can do that on uh, java and that is so unfair because i'm missing my old worlds and that didn't get corrupted and uh, the worlds that only got half corrupted it was possible to play there but it was so broken that means my buildings was completely gone corrupted or uh, one of the worlds had uh, torches hanging in the air 
all my buildings, my farms, my iron farms, it was completely gone. So, of course, it is sad because I found it fun to try to find the new biomes there. Those were never used to be big. I think it was created when you have half big worlds before you really getting big ones like the ones you have now. I don't know when it kicks in. Don't remember to be honest. So it's just running here and hope that this wider don't being too long. Still one eighteen place, I'm sure. Need to go a little bit up there. So you have a spruce forest here. <laughs> like that isn't surrounded in my world. Yeah, very nice. Weird place, could I say it? Got to be places I have been on before. If it's not, I'm happy. If some of this will have, I mean, will hit uh, 119 by one, that will be good, but I really don't think so. I have a feeling that you can. Oh, so I haven't been here before because it's a problem here. But still, it is 118 by one here. Can see that. Don't know if it's w any 119 have kicked in. Okay, I remember this place because it is a uh, not working uh, lush cave under there. That means it doesn't spawn any axolotls and if I understand that part of this uh, bedrock right, you only are able to find axolotls in place in lush caves where it spawns uh, um, those tropical fishes in those small small water places or else you will not find them and of course I need darkness. I have found really many lush caves, tried to get an axolotls, didn't get it but I think I understand it now. So we're very close to my mountain city again. That should be the place that I'm ending this video before I'm doing the more of running in this map. <coughs> and see what I can find. Because longer in I'm walking more I should find more old biomes in that way. Yeah, it is really interesting. Don't know where or what you find. So that outpost, I'm not sure if it was the Lushke place or the same place. I think it was the same place, to be honest. Okay, so here we run in like this. I need to squish it in somehow. Can it let me please? Guess this place of it, I don't know it so much, I do understand almost where I am. I am very close to my mountain city, Dream Valley. So I need to squeeze it somehow in like this. You can see the <coughs> night coming in. Very interesting. I will continue like this and see what I find. This is the part of it that I don't know so much. For sure I have flight with this place. Because I've done lots of agent heroes every now and then ever since the 118 update came. Tried to find the perfect place to stretch out my forge. I finally found it. Like I said, it is the outpost that drives me doing stuff like that. If I don't find the outpost on that direction, I simply don't want to have my fort there. You know I love illegers, but I also love these raids. It's uh, one kind of entertainment that I really need, sadness for the illegers maybe. But if I feel it for likely, I do want to keep new uh, illegers. And that's my only way to get evokers and vindicators. So the dream valley is behind this place. I think I want to actually end this why they out here. I love them so much. I just also learned today that on Java, um, you're too lucky with that because I am the illegal lover, so it feels unfair that here on bedrock they despawn when it comes to paddles. I'm very sure of that, unless they did a change in 119 update, but there that don't uh, despawn. That is so unfair. So this is the Dream Valley, because it's, yeah, I feel more. Uh, a uh, place where you have your homes likely. This is my townhouses, finished. My 
one single pool little villager but he is safe in there you run in straight through here and you see have seen videos about this so you know how it looks like inside these houses i love to build it and so really really nice and then this is the apartments uh, if you've seen all the videos and the streams, you know exactly what the, and how I build it. And this is the first summer house. I just haven't decided uh, who to give it to or if it if I want to give it to somebody. I do like this place of it because you recognize that house, right? It is not at all finished. It's my main house in Mountain City. And I had digged out properties. I want to build a bigger a family house here that will have a nice garden. Uh, then I want to build one or two summer houses down there. And then a tiny summer house there. Something like that. Collecting the family in one and same place because I love the mountains more and more. More I'm doing stuff here, more I love it. I have built it on that today. So when it comes to this, whoops, I forgot that I had my lid on. I haven't met any puddles for almost one week, I think. It's so my luck. Everybody else getting them, but the Elijah lover don't get them enough. And I will never stop collecting them, I think. At least puddles are very special on bedrock because they have a special behavior. That's why I love them so much. So they're absolute favorite for me in Minecraft. And of course, the Elijahs are the favorite part of the Minecraft. That's why I'm still playing here. They're keeping me with company and I weird feeling that, yeah. I really love them. I even feel like some kind of uh, illager, uh, what can I say, expert. And all of that is only because I have found out all these things by myself, trying to do things, exploring things. This is my illiter. I have a, a cape on me, so that's why it's looking like that. And so I want to say farewell and thank you for watching this uh, video. And also thank you for all subscribers on YouTube and all followers on Twitch. See you all again, hopefully, either in a video or in a stream. Yeah, remember also to take very good care, alright? Uh, and farewell, yeah. Don't know what the next thing will be, I don't know. Bye bye! Mountain City Dream Valley out.